Want to learn how to face cyber threats head on? Stay tuned. Secure Ninja. I'm speaking with Brian Minnick. He is the CEO of Morphic and the author of Facing Cyber Threats Head On. How are you, Brian? Good, good. How are you doing? Excellent. I'm doing well. Excellent. And we just came by because you're doing a book signing for your new book, right. Facing Cyber Threats Head On. Yes. Tell us a little bit about it. What inspired you to write it? Well, you know, at the end of the day, we really think that there's been a lot of changes in the cybersecurity space in the last several years. In fact, some of those changes are very fundamental to the industry themselves. And the book is really trying to help us drive some of those changes, help people get their heads around what those are, and, and really kind of evangelize that to get, to get that moving. All right. So lead us through kind of like the main chapters of the book, of the book and the main points in it. Yeah, you know, the, the book really kind of starts off laying this this dichotomy and these changes that have happened in the industry uh, and basically saying, you know, if you look historically how the security industry has operated, it's been focused on stopping malware. I mean, you think about the news, if, if cybersecurity was in the news 10 years ago, it was something about a virus that hit all of our machines, right? And now you think about it and what's in the news is not the virus and how many machines it hit, but just one organization and how it group of attackers was able to infiltrate that. And when you look at that, the first problem, the historic issue about stopping a virus, it was really stopping a computer program. And that's a technical issue. If I stop the computer program, it doesn't realize that I have stopped it. It doesn't think, it doesn't know. But in this new situation where you're talking about stopping people, if I stop them the first time, they know I've done that. And depending on how I stop them, they may learn from that and change how they come at me the second time or the third time or the fourth time or so on, right? So there are fundamentally different problems that need to be solved. And that's really the basis of the book and that's really when we start the book out talking about some of the breaches that we see in the, in the media and in the news and saying, you know, these are, these are fundamentally different challenges than what we've traditionally seen out there in the industry. Yep. What do you think is like the biggest growing threat in cybersecurity to organizations today? You know, I, I think there's there's really back back to those two different problems. Uh, I think that when you look at the volume of issues that people are dealing with, it is that technology issue. It is stopping the random malware, the computer programs that are out there. That's high volume. The problem is that this people problem is not high volume, but very high risk. Right, so a lot of companies, not every company is dealing with that type of challenge, but when they do, the stakes are very high, right? So how do we balance high volume risk versus a low volume but very, very high risk uh, impact type of risk is really what people are trying to struggle with. Uh, and as we look through the book, we actually examine that, that scenario and how companies should look at the risk that they face. Uh, we use the example within the book of companies that are uh, based on intellectual property. So a, a company that is inventing or developing a new set of technologies that they're then going to take all that R&D, all that investment that they've put into that product, and then they're gonna have to recoup that over several years by selling that product in the market, right? When you look at that situation, uh, if a competitor can come in and steal that intellectual property, not invest all of that R&D money, they can essentially go to market very cheaply, undercut that, that company, and potentially you know, put them out of business. And there's been situations where, you know, we, we've seen things like that happen, right? So when you look at that, that company has, is the only company that has that information. That means if someone wants it, they would be very determined to come in and into that one location, right? So the risk is very high, uh, not just in terms of the future to the business, but how determined is someone going to be, right? Contrast that to uh, other organizations that have similar information to other companies, right? Personal information, whatever. In that type of situation, the attacker is going to go after the easiest target that they can, right? Why would I go after someone that's extremely hard if the next company down the street has the same information, it's a lot easier to get, right? So if I'm a company that has what I'll call commodity data that everyone else has, I don't have to raise that bar quite as high as the company that has very specific information that no one else has, right? And that's part of, the, part of the challenge and part of the, the strategy around how you, you protect yourself and how far you go down the, the rabbit hole that is cybersecurity, yeah. right? Who do you think would most benefit from reading this book? Who would you like to get it in the hands of? You know, 
I really put it together for more of the business leaders uh, to get an understanding of what's going on. It's not a deep technical book that goes into the ones and zeros and reverse engineering and malware and all this. It's more of a strategy conversation around here are the challenges that people are facing out there. And here are some just some high level ways of looking at these risks and dealing with them as you move forward. Yeah. yeah. I had an opportunity to just kind of start reading a few paragraphs and it was really engaging. It seemed like it told a lot of stories and it kind of was getting across the cybersecurity message, yeah. message that way, which was fun. Yeah. That's good. That's yeah. good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Um, you'll hear a lot of stories from my past and uh, yeah, just a lot of uh, interesting things that have happened and, yeah. and trying to pull people into the conversation a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, good luck with it. I assume it's for sale on Amazon? It is for sale on Amazon. Okay. Check it out. Excellent. Cyber threats. Yeah, we'll put a link in the video description so people at home can check it out. And thanks so much for talking with us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Enjoy the rest of the show. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe to Secure Ninja TV so you don't miss any of the great content that we're filming here at RSA 2017. Hopefully, some of you will check out Brian Minnick's book and leave us a comment below and let us know what you think of it. Also, be sure to check out all of our other content here on Secure Ninja TV because we cover cybersecurity conferences all around the world. I'm Alicia Webb. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.